The watches that are shown in this video and or any watch that I review on this channel are not counterfeit. I do not and will not ever knowingly review any counterfeit watches on my channel. YouTube policy defines counterfeit items as follows. Counterfeit goods contain a trademark or logo that is identical to or substantially indistinguishable from the trademark of another. And YouTube also defines further that they mimic the brand features of the product in an attempt to pass themselves off as a genuine product of the brand owner. None of the items I review on this channel meet either one of these requirements. I do not review items that are identical in any way to any brand or that attempt to pass themselves off as a genuine product of the brand owner. These items are all purchased legally and are publicly available to anyone to purchase themselves. To the best of my knowledge, all of the watches that I review are made by companies that have done their research to make sure that the items they sell are legal. I do not produce these items, I only review them. Once again, the watches you see in this video and any watch you see on this channel reviewed by me is not and are not counterfeit items as defined by YouTube policy. Hey guys, Dave the Watchman here coming at you with another watch review video. Uh, as promised, this is part two of the Sheen unboxing. Uh, I have all these watches left over to review or to show you guys what came in the Sheen haul and um, I'm going to go over these watches. And like I said in part one, I am going to go over these individually as separate watch review videos. So stay tuned to my channel if you want to see that. Uh, part one yielded some decent results. We got this watch here. I haven't unwrapped any of these watches yet. So they're still in the plastic that they came in. But here's a decent watch that's supposed to look like a rim and a rotor with a caliper. Uh, nice mechanical looking watch. It is a decent quality. Surprisingly, the band could be a little bit tighter, but it is a novelty looking watch. And I think it's not bad for the price. Um, the other one that came in was a Turner style watch that looks very, very, very so close in resemblance to the Turner and also the Olev's style watch very very good quality i'm definitely impressed by this it's a company called arlonki arlong arlonchi or arlonki um but other, other you know it's a very very nice watch i would say it's a good watch great great watch quality build for the price um then this one that came in was a unique design and it tells time in kind of a different format uh, so I think the novelty effect of this watch outweighs the quality. But in all reality, the, the, the band on this one's a little bit tighter than the band on this one. But otherwise, both of these watches were, I think, between the $6 and $10 price range. So, I mean, guys, how can you even argue with it? It's amazing that they can even make a watch for that little bit of money. But they are kind of unique looking design watches. And that's kind of why I bought them, because I just kind of wanted to, to get something that looked a little bit freaky weird. Uh, I don't think they're in, you know, they're not homages to any other watch brand out there. Not that I know of, if you know anything more about these, more about these watches and the style that they're supposed to emulate. And if they're supposed to be an homage watch to anything um then let me know in the comments below or if you just like them or if you hate them let me know let me know what you think about these watches uh but otherwise decent quality i would wear both of these watches without thinking twice this was a a, a nice one too and like i said before in the other video is that i did buy a denvasi watch which is the one i have on that's very similar it's automatic and I figured I'd buy a couple more Denvossis because I was I was pleased with the quality of them for the price. And here's another one that I mean it didn't it didn't disappoint me. This is a very classic looking, elegant looking '80s type uh, style watch. Very very nice quality. Uh, nice nice face with the um, reflective green um, and the gold hour markers and. All in all, just a very nice, very nice watch. Um, so I was not disappointed by Denvasi again. I was very satisfied. And I do have one more to go over here. So I do have three watches, four watches actually. And um, so without further ado, like I said, if you like this channel, give the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And I'm going to open up this one here, which is... A kind of a crazy looking watch. It's supposed to resemble and pay homage to one of the most coveted of watches, which is a Um, And I just, 
it was not a very expensive watch and um i just kind of got it kind of as a goof to buy it um and you know just take a look at it but let's see what it actually looks like it's let's see if we can get that into focus here there we go okay and there we have it it's a bejeweled um supposed to be it's obviously faux diamonds faux diamond studded um watch all blinged out um guys I, I don't really even know what to say about it it's you know it's obvious not purporting to be a, i believe it's even unbranded there's no brand on it at all um it's got this clasp enclosure clasp on it i'm not really sure how that's supposed to work um flip it open maybe I don't know. I can't even get into it. But anyhow, I'll have to figure that out. It's, um, yeah, I mean, it's gaudy, definitely gaudy, but it's supposed to resemble all studded in faux diamonds. And, um, let's see if we can get it set for time here. It jumps quite a bit, so the movement's pretty cheap. I don't know. Oh, these don't even work, so. Okay, so yeah, so it's total garbage, because these, these don't even work. They're just fake. They're fake um, buttons, so the subdials don't move. So it's just a piece of junk, but hey, I figured I'd get it, you know, take a look at it, just kind of as a goof. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. If you like the actual watch, um, if you're a fan of it, not, um, just let me know what you think. Um, I don't know why my camera is doing such a crazy job of focusing today. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's definitely a different watch, but very, very low quality. I, I myself, I probably would not wear this watch anywhere. Um, it's probably just going to go right in the junk pile with all the rest of the Sheen junk watches. Um, but anyhow, let's move on to the next one. This is called a Tomy, Tomy watch. I don't know which one this is. Oh, I think I know which one this is. This is another crazy designed watch. Um, yes. Yeah. This one's kind of crazy looking. So let's see here. Yeah, this is, a uh, a bit different. This is a conversation piece, I would say. Let's see if it's got... Nope, it's, nope, there's nothing on the front. Yeah, this would be a conversation piece watch. This is kind of cool. It's um, a minimalist watch. And let's see here. What does that look like? Yeah, I mean, it looks, it looks cool. I just don't care to see my wrist through it. Um, but... But I get, I get it. It's a minimalist type watch. Um, kind of cool looking. But I I don't know if I would even wear this one, to be honest. Um, Schrody, buddy. You gotta help me out here, not hurt, not hinder. So, let's see here. Let's get this. There we go. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a nice looking watch. It's a minimalistic design. It's really nice. It's made by a company called Tomy. And um, I think that was, that's a classy looking watch. I personally just don't care for the fact that you can see through it. Um, I would rather have some sort of a backing on it. Uh, just because who wants to see their own arm through the, through the watch. But anyhow, I get it. It's a minimalistic design. It's, it's a very simple designed watch not bad for the price it's actually a pretty decent watch for the price um but yeah that's that's a you know watch from the brand tomi so so there we go there we have that and uh let's see here come on buddy you're gonna have to move you're on top of all my watches i know i know okay there you go and uh looks like we have the liege and the denvossi left 
So which one do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see the Dunvalsi, which is made by this company? Or do you want to see the Liege, which is made by this company? Or the one that made that watch? Okay, we'll go with the Dunvalsi. Actually, we've already got this Dunvalsi, so let's go with the Liege. Let's see here. Okay, like I said before, guys, if you like this content, please do me a favor. If you haven't already done so, click like and subscribe for me. Just saying, um, it does help out the channel quite a bit. If you guys do that, like and thumbs up. Uh, thumbs up and subscribe. It does help me out a lot. And uh, like I said, I'm building this channel from the ground up. So I do appreciate all of my subscribers. Uh, everybody that does post comments and, and gives me that thumbs up and, and subscribes to the channel. I do appreciate all of you guys. Uh, you guys have been great. Um, I'm in my channel is just just under two months old right now, and I believe I'm at the 80, 80 subscriber, 79 subscribers right now. So if you guys want to be number 80, click on that subscribe for me and uh, help the channel out and post your comments. And definitely, ooh, that's a good one there. That's a good one, guys. Can anybody tell me which one that's supposed to be? Um, so yeah, definitely do that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I would definitely appreciate it if you like to see this content and you want it to keep on coming. Anyhow, this is a pretty nice one here. This is supposed to be, and I haven't opened it yet. It's supposed to be a, look at that. Ooh, it's supposed to pay homage to, it also looks like it comes with some sort of a sizing tool, but like I said, I've got better sizing tools than that. Um, Let's see here okay so now i have not tried a on um i've tried some, some but i have not yet tried deep but based on the photographs that i've seen this is pretty similar to me which is an outrageously expensive watch um but like I said, these are not. It's made completely by a different company called Bangwe. Um, it is not a. It's not pretending to be. But these are budget friendly watches for the everyman. And that's what I review here on my channel. So if you guys like this content and you want it to keep on coming, make sure you do give me that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. But this watch right here, I would have to say I'm highly impressed with it. So far, it's got good good weight to it. It's a good quality. Um, it's, it's a date just format, so it doesn't show the day. Um, it's the movement. Huh, the movement's kind of a little bit clunky. Um, but I think maybe it just needs to be moved around a little bit. But it does kind of stutter a little bit there. See how it jumped right there? So I'd have to say overall... This watch, the movement is kind of a little disrupted. See how it just kind of jumped there? It's got like a little bit of a stutter to it. But, guys, I don't know how well it tells time. Will we'll be the, you know, only time will tell if it tells good time. So, so that being said, I think we're somewhere in the neighborhood of 2.30 right now. And for the price, not a bad watch. It looks really nice. I would definitely put this on my wrist. I would wear this out. It is a beautiful looking watch. Um, and it is, I think it's all stainless, stainless steel, water resistant, stainless steel, all stainless steel. Um, like I said, probably just a cheap Chinese quartz movement, but nonetheless, it's not $2 million like a regular. So... That brings us to our last watch, the Den Vossi. The Den Vossi watch, uh, I'm not sure which one this is. Um, so this will bring my collection up to three Den Vossis. I have this Den Vossi, this one, and whatever's in this package here, which I'm not sure what it is. So let's take a look at it and see what we got. Okay, let's see here.
Not bad. Definitely not bad. I expected, I think when I bought this one, I expected this to be a little bit bluer than it is. You can kind of see it in the light that it does have a blue, but I, I pictured it to be more like this color blue. Um, but nonetheless, it's got kind of a greenish hue to it. And uh, it looks like it's a halfway decent build quality on this thing too. Um, let's see here. Two, it's roughly 240 right now. There we go. Um, all stainless steel, water resistant. It's got a nice tight band. Um, it's a decent watch. Once again, this is another one that I would definitely wear. It's got that, it's got that 80s look to it again. So some of these Denvosis, they really follow that, you know, what the you know watches of the 80s would look like. But this one's kind of kind of close. Not not exactly, but about the same size. A um, little bit smaller. Um, I think this is a really nice watch. This is a this is one of the better ones, I think, in my opinion. Um, there's quite a few watches that I got here on Sheen this time that are pretty impressive. Um, I I can't say that any of these watches are complete and total junk, except for maybe this one. Um, uh, you know, in in terms of uh, quality, these crazy watches are a little less quality, but they they do have their appeal to them as far as their unique and originality um you know they're just the quality is not there um but these other watches um all good quality this one's kind of one of the freak watches that has you know less quality but more of originality um but yeah i mean guys like i said there's not a lot of money in watches here i think every watch here this was probably, I want to say somewhere in the neighborhood of $100 for all of these watches. Um, so if you're looking for a decent quality watch and you don't want to spend a ton of money, you can have you can have a watch collection for every day of the week for somewhere in the neighborhood of $100. And that's what I go for here on this channel is I'm not, I'm not trying to shove, you know, extremely expensive high quality watches in your face i'm trying to show you what you can get on a budget okay these are watches that you can work on a car with these are watches that you can work out in the yard with and you don't have to worry about what happens to them if you take this watch to the beach and you walk around on the beach and you know something happens to it you're out 20 bucks you know if you want the olevs version and you want a little bit better quality it's 40 bucks you know these are all replaceable watches they're not they're not throwaway watches like, you know, like this one's just a piece of junk throwaway watch. But but the ones that are decent, they're not throwaway watches. They're good, they're good for their purpose. And they don't they don't set you back a ton of money and you don't have to worry about them. You know, I've had some commenters say that they've they used to collect high-end watches, 10, 15, 20 thousand dollar watches, and they were afraid to wear them. So what's the point? What's the point if you keep you buy your watches and you keep them in a safe because you're afraid to wear them? That's that's you don't get any enjoyment out of that. At least I get enjoyment out of these watches. I go out and nobody knows the difference. People don't know the difference. You know, when you're at a nightclub or you're at a restaurant, nobody's going to come up to you and be like, oh, is that a, is that a, a, a you know, an homage watch? Nobody's going to know the difference. And, and and, you know, they're not like I said, they're not fakes. They're they're homage watches. They just follow the trend lines of the of the uh, of the luxury manufacturers. So, anyways, this is what I got with Sheen. This com combined with the first watch video that I did, um, both of these 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 were all the watches that came in with the Sheen haul. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got eight watches in on this haul, this Sheen haul, and. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching the videos, and if you like my content, make sure you do give that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Keep this channel going. Like I said, I grew it from the ground up, and it's 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 heading heading in the right direction pretty quickly. So I'm thankful that you guys do like my content. So just please make sure you show the thumbs up, the like, and the subscribe, and it really does help out the channel, and I totally appreciate that. And all you subscribe current subscribers, thank you so much for believing in the channel and keep the love coming um so if you guys got anything you want to say about these watches leave it in, or in the comment section below and i do respond to comments so i am dave the watchman and i will see you guys in the next watch review video have a great weekend
The watches that are shown in this video and or any watch that I review on this channel are not counterfeit. I do not and will not ever knowingly review any counterfeit watches on my channel. YouTube policy defines counterfeit items as follows. Counterfeit goods contain a trademark or logo that is identical to or substantially indistinguishable from the trademark of another. And YouTube also defines further that they mimic the brand features of the product in an attempt to pass themselves off as a genuine product of the brand owner. None of the items I review on this channel meet either one of these requirements. I do not review items that are identical in any way to any brand or that attempt to pass themselves off as a genuine product of the brand owner. These items are all purchased legally and are publicly available to anyone to purchase themselves. To the best of my knowledge, all of the watches that I review are made by companies that have done their research to make sure that the items they sell are legal. I do not produce these items, I only review them. Once again, the watches you see in this video and any watch you see on this channel reviewed by me is not and are not counterfeit items as defined by YouTube policy.